Um, my name is Andrea, for those who haven't been here before. We're going to come around and take communion together, so we invite you to partake with us. I just love that song. And that bridge, you know, there is no wall that God won't kick down to get to us. Jesus did. He kicked down the walls, didn't he? He tore down, he broke those lies. He defeated the enemy to get to us. So um, I'm going to share some scriptures, and if people would um, like to hand out communion, that would be awesome. And we'll wait together um, to um, take them. So, yeah, just hold them when you get them. <coughs> so I'm reading from where is it? Luke chapter 22. So it's Luke 22. And it's verse 14. And I'm sure many of us will know this passage. It says, When the time came, Jesus and the apostles sat down together at the table. Jesus said, I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. For I tell you now that I won't eat this meal again until the meaning is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He said, take this and share it amongst yourselves. For I will not drink wine again until the kingdom of God has come. Then he took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it into pieces and gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then after supper, he took another cup of wine and said, This is the cup of the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement to confirm with my blood, which is poured out as a sacrifice for you. So it's pretty simple, isn't it? Jesus came and he sacrificed his life for us. His body was broken for us to come into relationship with God. His blood was shed on that cross so that we could have forgiveness for our sins. I want to read to you from Romans 5. Romans 5, verse 6. It says, When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who's especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we've been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For, the death of his, for since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in the wonderful new relationship with God because of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has made us friends of God. Isn't that a great thought, being a friend of God? You know, we know that we're sons and daughters, but sometimes just the idea, like, don't we, don't we love our friends? Do we have a different relationship with our friends as we sometimes do with our families? You know, like I think if, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I think, oh, I'm probably not all that nice to my family sometimes. Because, you know, sometimes we're a bit real. Or, you know, we tend to portray our best side to our friends, don't we? Or is that just me? <laughs> you know what I mean? We tend to be more forgiving of our friends. We tend to be more caring sometimes of our friends. Because when it's our family, we're like, eh, that's just them. Ugh. Whereas with our, our friends, 
we can be a bit more loving and a bit more accepting and forgiving. So just that concept of a friend of God. Just touched my heart today. But yeah, um, has everyone got their emblems? Yep. So as we reflect today and as we remember, just that, you know, it's that Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. I want you to think about for yourself today, what is it that you're remembering? What Jesus did for you? Is it the forgiveness of sin that we can have each and every day? Is it that we are now, you know, we've been brought into this new relationship with God? Is it that we're a friend of God? Is it that we're his son and daughter like we sang about, that we are his children? So why don't we eat and drink? Lord, we thank you for your body that was broken for us. And Lord, as we uh, take this bread today, we remember the sacrifice that you made for us. And Lord, as we drink the juice that represents your blood that was poured out on the cross, Lord, for forgiveness of our sin, we are so thankful today. We praise you, Lord. offerings time. Yes. Woo! Do we love it? Yeah. Why do we love it? Oh, I'm on, yeah. Giving back to God. What was that? Giving back to God. Giving back to God? Yeah. Why else do we love it? Because it shows us and he loves us so much Because it shows us that God loves us so much that he's given us that. Is that what you say? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It is good to give back to God, isn't it? Why else is it good to give back to God? Because we're being thankful. Because then He can use it in our community. If I keep it all for myself, Darren, have you, done that? you know, I might be great, but what about everybody else? When we give back to God, He can use it in our community, and I think that's the best thing. <laughs> All right, let's pray over the off ties and offering, shall we? Just stretch out your hand. Lord, we thank you for everything that you give us, Father. We pray that this finance will be used to bless those in the community, Lord, to bring people to know Jesus and his love for them. We pray you would bless it. We pray you for wisdom upon those who distribute it, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Everyone said? Amen. Amen. Awesome. All right, we have some announcements.